So there must be a Nintendo rep in this game. It's either him or a Fire Emblem 3 Houses rep. The final character in the fighter pass. To many people's surprise, Byleth was the final character added in the character pass. I did predict this in my Banjo-Kazooie video, so I guess you can just call me a Smash Guru. But many people were angry about this, which kind of made this edition less hype. So is Byleth really worth it? Byleth was added to the game in January 28th in the West, and January 29th in Japan and Eastern countries. This character is another Fire Emblem character, which is what people were angry about. I don't think this will change anything, but I'll say this once. Please don't take your anger out on people on the internet and the Smash development team. It won't change anything since this character was decided before the game even came out. Berato is the most unique Fire Emblem character in this game, with him not being purely a sword character. Let's start with the basics. Beresu's job uses her sword. She does have a multi-job with her sword turning into a whip. Her smash attacks are pretty good, damage wise at least. Side Smash uses a spear, with its sweet spot being the tip of its spear, so you would probably want to be a distance away from your opponent. Down Smash uses this thing. Well, we'll just call it an axe. This axe deals a lot of damage, and this move of course is a kill option, even at early percents. But you can also use this move to break shields. Both this move and side smash are pretty slow, however, up smash comes out decently fast. This move scoops your opponent and hits them multiple times. All tilts are okay, with down and up tilt being combo starters. Specials are pretty cool. Side special is more of a spacing tool. Byleth swings his spear for this move and it covers a lot of space. It deals good damage and is one of their quicker moves. This move is pretty good in the air, which can lead to edge guarding. Their down special uses the axe, which deals crazy damage. You guessed it, it breaks shields. This move is like Warlock Punch and has super armor. You can switch sides during the windup. And if you're on a platform, you can go down. For the neutral special, Byleth uses a bow, which has to be charged, but you can cancel it, unless you hold the special button for longer. Then you have no choice but to let it out. This move kills off stage in its normal state, but if it's charged, you already know the outcome. Up special uses the whip, and it's one of the coolest moves this character has. This move can latch onto opponents and lets you bounce off them. This can spike in high percents. This move is a tether recovery, but if it touches the sides of the stage, it can let you wall jump. Aerials are pretty decent too. Forward and back air both use the spear, and the tip is still the strongest part. Back is the go-to option for killing off the sides. Down air uses the axe which spikes at early percents. Neutral air uses the bow and acts like pit snare. It isn't the greatest, unless you use it against Donkey Kong. Up air uses the whip and multi-hits opponents. Grabs aren't that great. The only real one you can set up for combos is up throw. Down throw sends forward for some reason. Forward throw actually sends pretty far, and so does back throw. They can both be used to kill with the bow, which is pretty unlikely. And that's Byleth's whole moveset. The new stage, Garag Mok Monastery, has multiple stages to it. This isn't anything new for this game, which actually upsets me. All DLC stages had pretty cool parts to it, but this just feels pretty bland. There is the shop part, the hall, the bridge, and the classrooms. One cool thing about this stage is the shop part, where you can break the stalls. All parts of this stage are walk-offs, which makes it really easy to kill your opponent. The DLC spirit board is finally complete. Violet's spirit has two pages to it, which makes it more than Banjos and Heroes, but less than Jokers and Terry's. There are 11 new Fire Emblem tracks with this character. Fire Emblem now has 50 tracks! There was some remixed music, but not many. Overall, Byleth is a pretty bad character, but I had fun playing them. This update was the smallest we've ever gotten. This time, nothing has been added other than the patches and some Mii costumes. Now, 
Before this direct, I did do a little deal with the devil, and that led to a specific me costume getting added. Cuphead is the second me costume to come out with a song. Sadly, Cuphead's song wasn't remixed. These types of me costumes are so cool, and I honestly hope to see more of these. Overall, Update 7.0 was pretty small. It added Byleth and some me costumes, and the balance patches were pretty good. Byleth is a pretty fun character, but I don't see myself playing this character much. But with the fighter pass finally complete, I'm gonna miss making predictions. Or am I? That's right, predictions for the fighter pass too! In the past, I listed off characters that I personally wanted to see in the game. But this time, I'll just say characters who have a likely chance of joining until like the last three characters. Now, in no specific order, I think Heihachi, Gino, Rayman, Lloyd, Rhythm Heaven, and 2B all have a good chance of coming into this game. Yeah, I know this list wasn't that serious, but I have a good explanation for all of this. It's because-